hit helped the Backstreet Boys sell an astonishing 13 million copies of their CD, Millennium. The groundbreaking band's popularity reached Beatle-like heights. So, what happened? Where did the Backstreet Boys go? And why are they back now? We all want this again. You know, it's yeah. like we are starting over. This is a challenge. We go back to the grassroots and, and climb together again. And so the Backstreet Boys, who once rocked stadiums and shut down Times Square while on TRL, are now doing this. Playing small clubs and making appearances at local radio stations. As they prepare to release their first new album in five years. Are you aiming to reach the heights that you did last time or would you be happy if that happens? We're all praying that it does very well. The music has changed. You know, we're, we're here to take and deal with the cards as they are dealt. In 2001, the boys were at the height of their teen pop popularity. With a dozen hit singles and three straight number one albums, including the blockbuster Millennium, which sold over a million copies in its first week, and more than 13 million overall in the US. Still, they did the unthinkable. They walked away from it all. We were taking each other for, for granted. granted. And we needed a break from each other. At any point did it become addictive that you couldn't see yourself outside of it? I know it got to me worse than anyone else, but I mean, you know, everybody has their moments where they get the big head. And from 19 years old when I got my first car to now 27, I've had 15 cars. That's just stupid. It's gotten a lot better since I've been sober. In their four years apart, AJ McLean entered rehab for alcohol abuse. Kevin Richardson tried his hand at Broadway and Nick Carter released a solo disc while also grabbing headlines for dating Paris Hilton and most recently for an arrest on drunk driving charges. You go through something, you know, it's, it's to make you a better person as long as you learn from it and you don't make the same mistake twice. Trying to put all that behind them, Backstreet is test driving new songs for their new disc on their club tour. And while the venues are decidedly smaller than before, fans camped out overnight at New York's Irving Plaza, just like in the old days. Why have you decided to do it at this point? We're not getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I said I feel like we're Jordan, who came out of retirement. <laughs> Let's go for another three championships.